Miriam, application date deadlines are coming up for applicants from the EU and the EEA. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the program here at the centre? Sure. Um, what I think I'd mainly like to talk about is just how we've structured it as opposed mm -hmm. to going into details about what courses there are, etc. because all of that is on the web. Mm -hmm. um, but the question I often get is, what are the courses, how are the courses developed? Mm -hmm. And so the first year is course coursework, um, and the courses are developed as a progression. Mm -hmm. That means you need to complete the first course to be able to continue to the second, mm -hmm. and so on. And the courses are developed to provide two things. One is a breadth of understanding, mm -hmm. so introducing the base of understanding um, across disciplines um, that we feel our students need to be before they can go on to ask a research question. Mm -hmm. So it provides that breadth of understanding with a focus on certain areas, key areas that we've identified for more depth of understanding. Mm -hmm. Um, and the second is related to this progression, mm -hmm. that by the time students are then talking about governance and management-related issues, they're familiar with how ecosystems function, what are their values for humanity, so we mm -hmm. have this anthropocentric focus. Um, so that's the structure of, of the course mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And you say the, the program is research-oriented. Yes. So what does that mean? This is a very good question. <laughs> Essentially, the, the focus um, or the goal for our students is to prepare them to go on to do research mm. within this field of study. That doesn't mean that all of our students go on to do research, be it doctoral research or other. Many go on to be practitioners. But this isn't a practitioner's focus or a technological focus. Mm. So it's a, a research focus within the field of research that we do here at the SRC. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, the second year of the program is when they really get a chance to get into that in the thesis work. Exactly. So in the second year, students are, will work solely on their master's thesis, mm -hmm. carrying out field work and the writing up of the master's thesis. And this, this is their opportunity to then become experts within an area of the of the broad, that breadth of understanding. Mm -hmm. So they become, will become experts in, a, in an area of study. Mm -hmm. And say that I was to apply to the program, what would you like to tell me to keep in mind for the application? Well, first of all, I'd like to recommend and really recommend that you read through all the information on the SRC webpage. There's mm -hmm. a lot of information about both the SRC itself, are you interested in being a part of this research uh, center, mm -hmm. then about the program itself, what are the courses that will give you an idea of the syllabus that we have and mm -hmm. the focus and the questions we're addressing. And then the second is to really take time in thinking about when writing your statement of purpose is why do you want to attend this specific program mm -hmm. as opposed to other sustainability related programs in general. And the final component of the application are your research ideas. Here we really want to see, this is another way for us to see that you have really somehow un both understood the field of research here at the center, what are the focuses that we have here with the program, mm -hmm. and that you are able to relate that to your own areas of research. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're able to communicate with in-house researchers who, as potential supervisors, that's always a bonus. Hmm. But I think that would be it. Hmm.